Hey, what's going on there guys? You've officially arrived at the 420 scene today and we're going to be going over what stuff we're going to be using, what stuff we're going to be using for the next run and for you guys to grow along with me, you know what I'm saying? But first, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, you know, show us some support and all that stuff. We're not really going to be doing a huge intro or anything like that, you know what I'm saying? But I want to get this vlog all ready for you guys. You know what? You don't realize what stuff you have until you actually move. And let me tell you something, I have so much grow equipment, it's like, it's absolutely ridiculous i have a whole bin actually two bins because i have a whole bunch of soil that i haven't used up and it's always just like a little bit in every bag i'll show you guys right away let's come check it out on a side note i don't know if i'm getting older if i sound a little hoarse just because I just woke up took a nap it's been really tough i feel like i've been moving furniture the last the last week putting stuff together you know what i'm saying but check this out real quick how about that huh am i weird did I actually like that? I'll show you guys from a different angle. See that? I don't know if you guys can tell. You ever see those like LED night light strips? They literally sell on Amazon. It's like six of them for $15. There's really no reason why I'm showing you that. I just wanted to, you know, any, anyone that has a house or you got an apartment and you don't want to trip at night, you don't want to use your cell phone, you know, for the flashlight. Those like LED things with the motion sensor, I mean, you know, you get six of like 15 bucks. But anyway, let's go to the kitchen, see what we got going on real quick. Oh man, my voice sounds awful. I hope I'm not getting sick, because that would really suck. We just got over from being sick. All right, let me turn this light on real quick. Now that we actually have a kitchen table, I actually was able to start working on this new project. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna show you guys what we got going on here real quick. You know what, on second thought, I'm gonna let you guys wait till maybe the end of the video. I wanna show you guys all the stuff that we got in the bin that I had to pack up all like the grow related stuff. So I think you guys are gonna find that interesting. Gonna have to go over here, closer to the studio. I literally just passed it. Just to show you those LED night lights. Guys, you see all that? That's literally grow equipment that I have here. I have like a lot of the down the earth stuff. Got the measuring cups. You got the monkey fan in here, we got the we got the air pump. And guess what? We actually brought those curtain rods. You remember that? Because we're actually going to use them for the pantry. I'll show you guys what I mean right away. Anyway, we have like a lot of pH solution and just mostly down to earth nutrient kind of stuff in here. We don't have any good lighting, unfortunately, so it's kind of tough to actually show you guys. But anyway, as far as those curtain rods are concerned, I'm going to show you exactly why we're going to need them for the next grow. It's going to be it's going to be kind of ghetto, but you know what? It's still good. it's going to be kind of funny because I can fit like four plants in here. Why wouldn't I use it, right? Check it out real quick. I know it's going to be kind of dark, but it is what it is. So you guys see the pantry, right? If I have a curtain rod going from here, no, 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 even up top here. If I have a curtain rod right up here and I have it extended, I can have it all the like right up here maybe, right? And then just have maybe like a nail here and here to like secure it. And guess what, look at that. You could, you could fit four plants right in here, right? Why wouldn't I do that? A lot of you guys in the comment section were totally right about the attic. We're gonna need insulation. I mean, it's really, it's really cold. It's, you know, and it's only like December, you know what I'm saying? Like January's gonna get even colder. February's still gonna be pretty cold. I'm gonna have to insulate that first before I even think of doing anything with the grow but now let me show you the setup that we got going on right here we got the sunblaster nanodome i highly recommend it if you have problems germinating your beans this is what you get all right it's like maybe 40 50 bucks on amazon your local hydroponic shop probably has it maybe like 60 bucks or something like that support your local shop you know what i'm saying we have the mandarin cookies over here we got two of them we got the XXX, these are from Ethos. See, see I learned it's not Ethos, it's Ethos. But anyway, we got the Mandarin cookies, two of them. We got two XXX from Ethos, all from Ethos. Over here in the back, my buddy Christopher Bai, one of our fans actually gifted us a blueberry crossed with White Widow, I believe. And over here, we got lemon tart. And the two over here from ILGM, we're actually running Agent Orange. So that's gonna be the stuff that we're gonna be going with this time around. The PFGs, I can't run this time around. I kind of lost the beans. I'm gonna have to hit up GT and just kinda let him know that, yo bro, can you send over some more beans because I lost them through the move. He probably will though. He's cool like that. Now these are coconut husk starter pots. 
They are way better than solo cups. If you're using solo cups, trash it, okay? Now, the reason I tell you guys to get this, the Sun Blaster, if you look over here, temperature 73.2 and 65% humidity. You want really high humidity. You want water retention. The problem people have with seedlings is number one, they're not germinating properly. And number two, they do not have the proper water retention. You gotta have that humidity. You can't have like 40%, okay? You gotta have like 65, 70, 80. And we just hooked this up. It's This does get all the way up to 80% humidity, not gonna lie. Hopefully my voice isn't bothering you guys. It's really bad. I don't know why it's this bad, but my voice is kind of dry, but it is what it is. Now, as far as soil is concerned, we gotta use up what we have. My new hydroponic shop is like an hour and 15 minutes away. So like, that's just not, I just can't do it right now. You know what I mean? We've been driving like crazy. I just, I just wanna use up what we have. So I got it under 50-50% split right down the middle. I got it under Ocean Forest and Happy Frog, 50-50 split. And you know what? Maybe it's, actually no, it's not 50-50 because I did top it with a little bit more Ocean Forest. You wanna make sure you get a little bit extra nitrogen in there, nothing too crazy where your seeds are gonna burn out or anything like that. But a little bit of nitrogen, maybe like 60-40 Ocean Forest to Happy Frog. You can also replace the Happy Frog because it's like complementary soil. You can mix that Ocean Forest with either Happy Frog. You can substitute Happy Frog with either Light Warrior or Pro Mix, all right? So if you have either of those soils, you can add that with the Ocean Forest. The video that was originally supposed to come out today was going to be a tips video, but unfortunately YouTube is too busy messing around. They're, I don't know why, they're not monet, now they're not monetizing videos even if you don't have plants or anything like that. Can you believe that? It's even more ridiculous than my sore throat right now, honestly. But anyway, guys, if you want to grow along with me, this is the time to start. This video is actually filmed like on Monday night. I had to do a quick video. Hopefully this one gets monetized real quick so you guys can watch this one. All right, guys, so before we close off today's vlog, I want to thank everyone on screen for supporting us on Patreon since February. I really appreciate the love and support, guys. So I'm going to close off today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content. Also, let me know if you want to see more of these kind of vlogs. We're going to take a trip to like a whole bunch of ponds, check the pH levels and stuff like that, you know, see, see what pond water and and rainwater or pHing, you know, just off the bat like that. Let me know if that's a vlog you actually want to see. But anyway, I'm going to close off today's video. Be sure to drop a fat thumbs up, drop that fat like, and subscribe for more content. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. And as always, stay safe. Peace.